My name is Zach Summerfield. I have been researching here at the Food Justice Lab at West Virginia University. And this is a video on SNAP. SNAP is a uh, assistance program from the federal government that helps uh, low-income families subsidize part of their uh, monthly food budget. Um, it's based on income. People are familiar, more familiar with the term food stamps, but actually they changed the name to uh, SNAP, the Supplementary Nutrition Assistance Program. It is the largest government safety net. Close to 19 percent. Um, whatever, 19% of 1.8 million people. Who, who is on SNAP? Um, Percentage-wise, it's mostly elderly people and children. And most people like to embrace the stigma that people on SNAP are just freeloaders and people who don't want to work, but in fact, from 2006 to 2013, West Virginia had an average of, I believe, 88% of people who were capable of working, able-bodied adults, actually had a job, but um, their income was low enough that they qualified for the SNAP program. Annually, the federal government spends about $75 billion a year. Perfect example is Fayette County, West Virginia. Um, so per month, $1.1 million um, is subsidized to the population of the county, which in turn goes back into uh, the grocery stores and the economy otherwise for a grand total of $13 million a year. And we're sort of in a place where West Virginia is dependent upon uh, these dollars to keep the money coming in, to keep these grocery stores that are so critical um, and disappearing uh, open. And